Yeah, you know, it's, it's been pretty crazy. You know, it's, you know, I couldn't really have dreamed for anything, you know, better than this. Obviously, I, I spent the last four years up here playing for UW, and so, you know, I thought I was going to have to, you know, move somewhere across the country. I didn't think that there was really, you know, that big of a chance to get to stay. I mean, there's 32 teams. Everyone gets a chance to pick you, but just the way it worked out, I got, I got to stay in Seattle, and, you know, it was cool because I had some familiarity. I've played here at the VMAC every year in camp, and I knew the coach a little bit better than I probably would have at, uh, you know, any other place. So it's been a, it's been a good transition. I'm, I'm just happy to get to stay in Seattle. Fun seeing so many Pac-12 guys on defense with you. Yeah, you know it's awesome to see you know so many guys in this draft class. We had Ugo, Blair, Cody, everybody. I mean, we got we got dudes from all over the Pac-12. So it's it's exciting because you know, I love playing the Pac-12 and I like when the Pac-12 gets the respect. So it's exciting to see a bunch of dudes from the Pac-12 coming out here and getting a shot to play in the NFL. So it's good to have some familiar faces around. How, how similar the, the way they're using you right now to, to what you did at UW? Um, it's, it's pretty different, honestly. I mean, I was playing the mic at UW. I was playing the, the true middle spot. So I'm playing the, the wheel here, which is a little bit different. So I'm doing a, a little bit more stuff outside of the box, you know, getting out on receivers, that kind of stuff. So there's definitely uh, differences. In terms of the scheme, it's not all that different. I'm just doing a, a different role in it. What's the challenge to pick up elsewhere? Um, you know, I think it's just, you know, the amount they give you and just the, the details required for this level. I mean, I think in college you can kind of get away with some stuff. You know, maybe your alignment's not perfect or things here and there you can get away with. But at, at this level, you know, every single thing amounts. You I mean, six inches off in your alignment, you're out of the play already. So I think it's just, you know, the details that you require to, to do it at this level. Linebacker, what specifically do you like? I think it's just playing space more. You know, Mike, you're you're really in the box. You know, you're sifting through traffic more, and, and at the wheel, you're more in space. You know, playing out of running backs in the flat. You know, covering receivers a little bit more. So it's just uh, a little bit more space, space-driven game. Playing Will early in your career at UW. Yeah, when I when I first got to UW, I, I played Mike and Will, so I, I have some familiarity with it. But our Will spot at UW is is more similar to a Mike than what what we're doing out here. How's the chemistry been with Cody so far, getting, getting the feel for that? Yeah, you know, it's been great. You know, like you said, uh, we met at the Combine, and obviously we played against each other for uh, for four years, so we had some familiarity, you know, going against each other. And then at the Combine, we hung out for those uh, couple days and got to know each other pretty well, and we were excited. You know, we got to get out here and, you know, both be on the same team, so we had a, a little bit of a relationship already. And then, you know, when you play linebacker, I think, you know, it's one of the most important positions to really build a, a relationship with the guy you're playing next to because so much of what you do is predicated by what he's doing. So I think, you know, it's been great. We've got to go out pretty much every rotation together and just try to start building that chemistry and hopefully we can, you know, keep playing together for a while. What has stood out to you about him just early on the first couple of days here? I think just his work ethic. You know, he comes in every day. You can tell he's already a pro. You know, he's got all the plays dialed. He's asking questions about stuff we haven't even put in yet. So I just think, you know, the way his mind's working, you know, he's just ahead of the game every day, a little bit farther ahead than anybody else. He just wants to, you know, be that guy that's, you know, been running the show, like he said. I mean, he's the mic. He's making those calls. He's the vocal guy out there who's in charge of, you know, setting all the stuff. And so he's taken that, you know, full responsibility on his shoulders and has risen to the task. For the draft, you talked about talking to Bobby and him jumping with you about the workouts and all that. Just once they're all building, how much of support being around him and KJ? Yeah, yeah, you know, I, I can't wait. So I, I got pretty lucky because I'm from here. So I got to, you know, work out with him over at Ford Sports in Bellevue a little bit, especially Bobby. He was over there, you know, for two months in and out when I got to work out with him. So I have some good familiarity with him. And obviously, I mean, those are two of the best linebackers in the NFL today, if not the best. And so, you know, those are guys I think you can learn, you know, a lot about not only how to play football, but how to conduct yourself as a professional, how to, you know, handle the, the you know, the rigors that come with, with doing the sport as a profession. So, you know, I can't wait for those guys to get in the building and just try to learn everything I can from them. You played in a really, really high-level high series of defenses in college with other guys who were just elite already. How much is that easier transition for our, you know, goal at the target? Yeah, you know, I, I think it's just a testament to, you know, the program at UW. I think Coach Peterson and the whole staff there just takes a lot of pride on, you know, not only being, you know, a good college football team, but, you know, we're playing at a level that, you know, a lot of college football teams aren't doing. You know, we're running complex schemes. We're trying to make guys ready for the NFL, and that's something, you know, obviously you maybe don't hear about as much, but, you know, we want to send guys to the NFL out of UW, and that's something that, you know, you, we don't tell people in the media and stuff like that as much, but it's a big deal, and you want, you want to be, you want to come out and, you know, I'm a good player and show that, you know, this program is developing guys. You know, a lot of the guys that have come out these last couple of years were guys that weren't big recruits or anything like that but when coach Pete gets his hands on him the way he uh he changes players and grows them it's just it's a testament to you know what they're doing at UW and I got real lucky to be a part of it statistically you were really close but why why there's so many tackles so many plays why you Oh, well, you know, I think it's a mix of things. You know, I played linebacker since the first day I, I put on the pads in Pop Warner when I was a little kid. So I think there's, you know, some instincts and just, you know, natural playability that comes from having done it for so long. And then I just think the level of coaching that I got at UW, I mean, it was just 
remarkable. You know, the amount of time Coach Gregory would spend with me, you know, going over film, just all sorts of things, tendencies, anything we could get, you know, to make yourself a little bit better. And so after, you know, four years with such a, you know, high level coaching staff, they gave me, you know, all the tools I needed. And then I got to play behind, I mean, Vita Vea, Greg Gaines, Shane Bowman, Jalen Johnson. I mean, just an incredible D line that was always, you know, taking up double teams and letting us linebacker scrape. Did you guys have a chance to know any of the coaching staff here from the closeness, the connection with Bobby and since before we're dating over? Um, just just from uh, the local pro day, really, and maybe just you know saying hi at our at our pro day and the combine here and there, and, and talking to scouts and stuff. But really, it was the local day they had here. You know, I came, I didn't work out or anything. I just used that as a chance to basically interview. I got to sit down with Coach Glenn for maybe an hour, an hour and a half. Coach Norton came in too, so that was probably my first real you know big exposure. Anything else? Thanks, man. Thank you.